Hello? Hi there. Hey, Commissioner. How's it going? Going good. How are you? Ah, I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I just wanted to apologize to you for getting so mad about the bike patrol. It just super, super angered me that I have requested their presence to help with um, the trash dumping in my area and they always tell me no because they're so busy downtown and then to find out that they're like going to be cycling at night too just really angers me because we already overspent a half a million dollars on those cameras and we're making all of these changes downtown and no other resources come to the city and it's very um, reminiscent of the Casa Nylon purchases and all of the building purchases downtown from the Galanskis. Like, it's happening all over again, and nobody says anything. It super makes me upset. Yeah, well, I, I apologize. I mean, I mean, I didn't I didn't know, you know, your side. All I saw was, you know, on the email, and I saw it Monday, actually, and then I was like, uh, you know, I mean. And, and, you know, whenever that comes up, I mean, before you, you know, I mean, you can send an email at any given time, but I mean, you can call me. I mean, if it's you have to call me at three in the morning and, and you know, vent or ask questions as to the reasoning behind it, or I don't have a problem because really, there's there's no there's no agenda from the PD standpoint as to you know why uh, changes. I mean, I can explain. I mean, I explain it to officers, sergeants, lieutenants, and people say I don't know why you have to explain to them because it's 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 if you do it that way, then they have an understanding as to why it came up versus you just say well I'm not going to tell you and then they just they're left to to assume or speculate when really it's you know anyway from the PD I mean just yeah I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't jeopardize any officer I mean that's the, one of the reasons why I switched the 410 to the 5 eights and the, the ordeal that I went through that there because I didn't want one officer working by or, or her working by herself is why I switched it because they were having that they were having one person in areas you know working two areas by themselves and I said no you know we can't handle that and that's just it's just wrong so fast forward to the bike patrol um, you know, it's it was you know it's been there for a couple of years. We we didn't add to the resources. I didn't foresee uh, a substation being built when when the bicycle unit went into play or when I got over here. Uh, it turned out to be a good deal. You know, people always enjoy bicycles because it beats the the vehicle with the windows up and uh, it's they're just more accessible. You know, I mean, if they want to stop, they can stop, pull off to the curb, talk to the citizens, and chat. And they, they they build that relationship between the, the officer and, and the you know the citizen or business owner, and it just gets a little sense of security. And I know downtown they've been trying for the last. Jeez, 20, 30 years, you know, with either different mayors or commissioners trying to uh, revitalize and, you know, make it grow like other cities that you see where, you know, you got trees, people playing music and people walking their dogs, getting ice cream, doing some shopping. Downtown still has a ways to go, you know, so, but, you know, when it came down to this, you know, we didn't, you know, I don't want you to think that, you know, we took away resources or added resources. The bike, bicycle unit was already there. And the 12 to 8 shift was already there. You know, Lieutenant Salceda had switched that a few, several months ago because there were some issues that were popping up around, you know, the evening hours. And it solved yeah, actually. That's fine. Yeah. Like, evening is good. I just think, like, for them to be cycling in the dark, just like that lady, she was my friend Rosie that got run over in the dark. Right. It's just like, it's a whole, like, not even the motorcycles run at night for that reason. Right, and 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 see, and there was there were solutions if that was ever a concern. You know, I mean, you know, bicycle units they don't have to actually ride bicycles. If let's say they, it was evening hours, they can walk. Or we have cars here at the station, and there's we have spare cars where they can trade. And just like when it's inclement weather, you know, it's raining, and you know what, we're not going to go pedaling in, in in this weather. So they come and they'll get a, a unit and they'll ride double. You know, whereas everybody else who's who's uh, working twenty four seven, you know, you know, at three o'clock in the morning, they're riding by themselves. So, yeah, I, I don't want you to ever think that an officers or you know management on this side. You know, I, I can't speak for the city, you know, manager, but for this side, uh, I would never jeopardize you know anybody's safety. I mean, I, I actually pride myself in 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 preventing that. You know, because they're they're equipped with everything, and. Um, and it, you know it just stemmed with this this substation so you know s somehow it, it it got established and 
You know, they were looking for taking care of the the businesses, you know, the bars. Because they, they want to have this like the the bars you have on Pablo Gasol. And they want uh, a certain uh, type of uh, individual, you know, they, to, to come. And, and then when they, they leave the bars, they get to the car safely and without being harassed by people asking for money. And, I mean, I see their point, And I was trying to compromise in a sense of, well, look, I, they're, they were looking more of a 6 to 2 or 7 to 3. And I was like, well, look, I already have a 12 to 8. And uh, I can. And it's not like I have unlimited resources. I mean, they're, I'm limited. I only have four officers, and you know. And when you when you split shifts, like we had two for nine to five and two for twelve to eight. Whenever somebody calls in sick or takes a vacation or or what have you, then the other person is work, working by themselves. So when I suggested to the city manager when they were asking, well, you know, what could you do? I go, look, I could give them all the same days. And the same hours, so it it, it, it it further keeps it where if somebody takes a day off, I, I don't have to worry about an, uh, an officer working by himself or herself because there's somebody else there with them. Because you want them to, my goal is to have them working in pairs. Uh, so they, you know, they just pedal around versus, you know, if somebody's busy, well, then that individual's working by themselves. So that that was the that was the reasoning behind it to having everybody on the same days off, uh, and the same hours, you know, and then, um, you know, I, I, I guess I don't know how I get received or you know how it was, how you received it, but you know the city manager called and said, hey, we'll just postpone it for now, and you know I'll get with you, and then I didn't I didn't know about your email, I I, I saw that actually Monday morning, you know, since you cc'd me, so I, I was just responding on, on behalf of the department, <laughs> you know, you know. I can't give service in my area. You know what I mean? Right. Like downtown is like saturated and overburdened. Like, let's be honest, Ben doesn't even understand that business owners don't even live in his district. Like, most of them are not even, you know, eligible voters. It sucks to say that, but it's true. <laughs> and so here he is bending over backwards, and I get ousted because I'm not on top of it, and I'm letting all of this happen. Like, there's like very bad dumping in my area. We clean it up. The next day, it's there all over again. And I don't have any bicycle officers in my area or any resources at all to help with it. And it just sucks for me. Well, I mean, so that was I, yeah. And, and, and like, too, it's not safe to be riding. Like, I wouldn't ride my bike to Walmart at night. I wouldn't ride my bike to the stripes across Boca Chica at night. And much less, like, let my husband go or anybody else. I just thought it was like a crazy idea and oversaturation and here we go again, Ben Beast trying to be the sheriff in town and the rest of us, like my district has to pay for it. Yeah, like I mean regarding your dumping, I mean I, I can specifically, you know, have a couple officers until we, we either we find individuals who are doing it because it, it, it comes in waves, you know, and you you eliminate right. one group and then it's everything's calm for a month or two and then somebody else kicks in and does what that person's doing. You know, it's just like, you know, there's a rash of burglaries or, you know, we bust them and then we solve that for a little bit. And then, you know, two months later, it kicks up and it's a different group stealing cars or breaking into cars or homes. And it's just it's just a continue. So basically all we can do is maintain and you know, try to get ahead of the curve. But it's kind of hard to control somebody's actions. But when it does come up, you know, I can specifically assign, especially if, it, if we can tailor it. You know, this is happening in the early hours or the evening hours or sometime. We can have officers or, you know, detective, you know what, just out a few days, you know, get a video recorder or something, go out there and, and monitor that between these times. And hopefully we can cat, capture them. And if we do, then we know who it is and it's identified. And usually that person who gets identified goes, okay, game up. And they have to find another location, you know. To whatever they're dumping their materials from, whatever they're doing, you know. Right. Well, right now it's very bad, like a daily thing, and they throw it in the drainage ditches, and it's like all over the place. They're on Austin, Bowie, Crockett, like that used to be county, and the irrigation canals are just like way out of date, and there's no way that they hold water. So it like extra aggravates me that it's my responsibility to keep them clean yeah and, like make sure the infrastructure is like good i have no money because we bought cameras <laughs> 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 you know so it just like really gets on my nerve that the poorest people always have to pay for these pet projects and i'm just done with the downtown like a few years ago we had a three million dollar award from AEP, and john Newell dumped the entire thing into market square 
So there were 3 million. Now, 2.5 in the class of nylon. Now, 500,000 in the cameras. Like, it doesn't, you're not going to fix the problems that are there. Like, little by little, you'll do it, but not with big money dumps like that. Right. That's my frustration. It has nothing to do with you. It's not your, it wasn't that. It just was, you know, here we go again with another ridiculous request and somebody's going to get run over and then whose fault? Like, as chief, you don't want your first press conference to be like, okay, so we had an officer get hit by a drunk driver, you know? Right. Well, like I said, we could, you know, on the evening hours, you know, if, if you still have concern, all we have to do is just, we just issue out a car. Or, you know, or, you know, they could go four hours of the car and then four hours walking. Because it, the, the concern that they have downtown on the business just encompasses, you know, several blocks. You know, it's, it's between, I guess, 8th and um, 13th Street, you know, between two streets, Elizabeth and Adams and maybe Washington, you know, that uh, it encompasses that that type of, indiv- you know, area. And that's why I, I like pairs, you know, because... Well, I mean, we have, you know, officers working at all hours of the night, and they're usually by themselves. But here on the downtown, you know, because it's, they're not the sign per se calls to service where, you know, when you're on patrol, you're subject to calls, right? Somebody calls in a burglary vehicle, they dispatch. Here, it's almost like a special assignment. So, look, your priority is this, but of course, you know, if there's an assistance or, you know, there's a robbery, I don't want you to say, no, I'm supposed to be uh, patrolling my beat and not assisting. No, they have an obligation to kick in. When it's needed, you know, but their primar- prim- uh, priority is, you know, downtown, just like a motorcycle. His priority is to issue traffic citations. But from time to time, they might have to supplement patrol or do an escort or, you know, some kind of special assignment. And then it, it, it takes away from their duties, you know. But, it, you know, bicycles, it, it, it's it's limited. I only have four. It'd be different if there's eight to ten individuals. Oh, well, then you have things to work with. You can have different sets of days off, different times to accommodate different you know times of the day. But when you're down to four, it's it's you know. And, we're, and right now we're going through a period where we're short as well in replacing officers. There's a couple officers who who you know got in trouble. There's a couple who resigned you know because they want to go back to another state. Uh, there's ones that we just haven't replaced you know who have retired. You know, and there's been several of those. And then there's some going to the academy. But by the time they go to the any anytime we hire somebody, and have, they have to go to the Citizens Police Academy and, and then go through the FTO system. Uh, it's it's basically one year. So if we hire an officer today and he has to go through the academy and through the FTO, it's usually he won't hit the streets until one year later almost. So it's – and we're short several, you know, in that area, and you know. So it's – Resources, are, like I said, it's not unlimited. We work, we manage, you know, we pull from here. But when you pull from there, well, then something has to give because, well, you're taking somebody else's resources, you know, uh, like the motorcycle division. If I have to supplement patrol, well, then they're not generating revenue for the city because every hour that they work on the streets, they basically generate about $500 worth of cita- citations. In reality, that transfers to about 250 after warnings and time credit serve and or judges just issuing out dismissed cases. It's usually half that. But yeah, but when you take them, yeah, so but when you take them away and you give them some other assignments, that's what's the revenue is being lost. And so, you know, do you take it from there or do you take it from bike or do you take it from the southmost? It's always. Um, there's always a, a consequence because it, it, you're trying to do so many things at once. So then it's just like the city, like yourself, you know, you, like the funding, you know, you want to prioritize. Hey, I like those special projects. I want downtown to be beautiful too. But what are the priorities? You know, downtown's not the only section of Brownsville. There's multiple sections. You should start pulling. My advice to you is to start pulling like the actual commission members, like especially the district commissioners. Uh-huh. To see, like, that way you get an idea more or less where the majority of the commission is going with these opinions, like, um, the downtown changes and things like that, um, because, I don't know, it's not just me. Everybody's very, I don't know, we all, it's a very limited resource. It is, it is, and, you know, you know, I can only speak for the department, I can't speak for, you know, uh, like, districts, I can't speak for Nice or you, I mean, you all have, you, you know, I, I can, I mean, how can I, you know, my... You know what would be really cool, you know what would be really cool if you did, if you got, like, a, a map of all of the crime 
across the city, and you could like pinpoint the hotspot areas. Well, that now, like now that you hot. mentioned that, that's what we're we're something in the process of doing that, where the citizen can log in some somewhere by you know in, on the internet and see that. See where okay we're we're having a rash of burglaries uh, in this area, so they're just aware of it. So if they sus- see a suspicious vehicle, they'd be more tuned into. Hey, wait a minute, you know they've been breaking into this area. They might take a couple of snapshots with their phone or or what have you, or or take some details to pass on to us. So maybe it might be useful. But yes, it, we're we're trying to do something similar to that. Also, put out a survey. So if I go to your house. Ha- And we're and we're we're almost complete with the survey, and that survey is just so if we go to your house and we take a whatever report, you can go online and just like you know any service or product that you go on a phone or you go to a store, they always try to tell you, hey, if you just take a few minutes and go to this do the survey, you get you know French fries or a Coke or you know what have you. Uh, they, everybody does that, so I want to do that to get feedback from the public. Is how are we serving you? You know, it's never been done before. The chief was kind of hesitant in doing it because you, you invite criticism. But I said, but that's what we need to know so we can correct it, so we can tweak whatever we're doing wrong, if there's something we're doing wrong. And who's better to tell us than the public? And this is just a little survey. It's just five, six. It's real easy. Just a series of clicks of, you know, your overall satisfaction with the call. Did the officer, you know, uh, know what he was doing? Was he knowledgeable in the type of call that you, you, you made? And, you know, just real simple. And if they had any additional comments, they can. And then you know we'll we'll look it on from this side if if there's room for improvement, yeah. That and what you were talking about, yeah. I wanted to do, do things that haven't been done before. I mean, you could maintain. That's never been done. That's a really good idea. Yeah, just like you know, going uh, beginning their tour of duty from their house. I implemented that. That's that was never done before. Uh, permanent shifts on each um, on each time frame: the morning, evening, and, and graveyard shift. There's permanent shifts. So if you have the seniority. You know, and you want to work a, a certain time frame, you can. You know, I, I, I did that. And then those those messaging, you know, the end domestic violence, the texting, driving. I can do 100 cars for three to 400 bucks, and it'll last six wow. to eight months. I mean, that's really, really inexpensive, you know, you know, on what, because the cars are everywhere versus, you know, spending thousands of dollars, and you just have a, a where it's just one location. Here in Brownsville, you know, everybody looks at a police officer, I mean, the vehicle, right. and it just had a little messaging, you know, whether it's in domestic violence, a rate us, because I want to, that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, let the public know that you can go online and rate us, you know, on calls of service, texting, yeah. uh, breast cancer, those little uh, ribbons, those pink ribbons, uh, bicycling, you know, I mean, whatever. I mean, you could come up with something and, you know, it's just something, a little short, you know, words just to put out there and to let the public know that, hey, you know. Whatever we can do to regarding the department, because that's you know the, the department's all about the safety and service. So if it's falls in, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, I want you just to be assured that no, I wouldn't put anybody. You know, it's 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 bad business to do something like that. And th- we have we have a now now your role in chief. You're gonna understand the dynamic of like seven commission members and how many commission. I always feel so bad for Michael. And- well, yeah, you, you know, Charlie, you had it. Charlie knew the politics of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I told the you know the chief. I mean, because cause, yeah, as your commander, you only have one boss, right? It's the chief. But if you if you if you happen to get into that position, well, you have multiple chiefs. It's not just one chief. You know, you have you have eight bosses. You know, every you know. So and and yeah, well, that's just the way it is. You know, because uh, everybody's got a responsibility, and you're elected you know to to cover your district and they've got needs you know so you're their voice if if you don't say anything who will you know and uh you know you got to go out there and grab the the funding that's there before it's all gone and then you have to wait for another year you know to go by to to make dibs on whatever project you know you want to put forth but yeah i uh, you know, I don't envy you being that because that's like really, you know, I see how it is in, in, the, in the commission meetings and, you know, everybody's, you know, battling to, to get that dollar and it's it's needed. Well, luckily right now, thank God right now I sit on the majority side of the commission. It hasn't always been that way, uh-huh. but I'm able to do like whatever I want and just really cool stuff coming up because I have like my three, I have Rick, I have Will, and I have Cecil that are agreeing with me at the moment. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. The problem Charles Davis is then because if you don't do what he wants, he destroys you. Like, you know, perjury this, just like, just nuts. Honestly, yeah. You should not smoke weed, it's not for you. So, <laughs> that's the game plan anyway, you know, to see what the score is, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, well, I'm here if you need anything, and we appreciate everything you do for the city. Well, thank you, Commissioner. Yes. Have a good one. Oh, you too. And like I said, if you need anything, don't hesitate. I'm just a phone call away. I know. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Okay.